Hello mga math enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, nasa week 8 na tayo ng inyong mga muso. So, last week na natin. At masaya ako na nai-guide ko kayo all throughout your journey in this third quarter. O, masaya ba din kayo? I-comment yan dyan sa baba, ah, if natulungan ko kayo ngayong third quarter. At sana magkita-kita pa rin tayo sa fourth quarter. Okay? So, ang topic natin is about mutually exclusive events. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, alam ko, mamimiss nyo to. Siguraduhin na muna, pindutin nyo na dyan ang like button. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, discuss muna natin what are mutually exclusive events, okay? These are events that cannot occur at the same time. This means the two events, A, B, are mutually exclusive if A or the intersection of A and B is null set. In other words, there is no intersection between events A and B. Ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng sabay silang mangyari or wala silang common element. Common element, sorry. Kasi wala nga silang intersection. Oh, let's have this one. Learning task number one. Tell whether each of the following situations indicates mutually exclusive events or not mutually exclusive events. Write M for mutually exclusive and N for not mutually exclusive. A box contains 26 balls labeled by each letter of the English alphabet. Assume that each ball is designated by a unique letter and a ball is drawn randomly from the box. So what is the probability that it is... Okay, so hindi naman natin sa solve yung probability, but we are just trying or but we are just identifying if the event is mutually exclusive or not. Okay, so if we have D or E, mutually exclusive or not. Okay, dahil walang intersection yung event na makakakuha ka ng D at E, ibig sabihin ito ay mutually exclusive. So we have here M. Okay, now for letter B, uh, A or a vowel. Okay, dahil si A ay vowel, automatically, kung meron kang event A dyan, that is equal to A, and then yung event B mo na vowel siya, you will have A, E, I, O, U. Okay, so meron silang common yung A. Diba? So this is not mutually exclusive. F or a consonant. So, yung event A mo ay F. Okay? And then, yung event B mo, consonant. So, we have V, C, D, F, G, and then, yung susunod pa. So, we have F and then F. Pareho sila. So, this is not mutually exclusive. U or a consonant. So, yung A is uh, U siya, di ba? And then, yung B mo, all consonant. Pero dahil ang U ay vowel, at eto naman ay mga consonant, yung B, C, D, F, and then yung marami pang consonant dyan. Ibig sabihin, wala silang intersection. So, this is mutually exclusive. And then, for letter E, a vowel or a consonant, automatic, they are both different. Ha? So, wala silang intersection, kaya this is mutually exclusive. Okay. Now, let's have this one. Learning task number two. Consider the situation below and solve the following problems. A restaurant serves a bowl of candies to their customers. The bowl of candies Maria received has 10 strawberry, okay, 6 mint candies, 14 melon candies. So, after Maria cho chooses a candy he eats, find the probability of getting candies with the indicated... Okay, flavors. So, let's see. Aha. Enter ko lang. Strawberry or mint. So, yung intersection ng strawberry and mint. Oh, let's see. So, we have here 
para may solve ito, diba, we have here the probability of the union of, wait, dapat naka-parenthesis. Okay. The probability of the union of strawberry and mint. Okay. And that is equal to the probability of strawberry plus the probability of mint. So, ito lang yung gagamitin natin kasi wala naman silang intersection. Okay. Add natin sila 10 plus 6, 16 plus 14, all in all, 40 lahat, ha? Tama ba? 20, ay, 30 lang pala. Tama ba? 14 plus 6 is 20 plus 10. 30 lang to. Sorry. So, this is 30. Ang total nila ay 30. Okay, so let's have the probability of strawberry. So, that's 10 over 30 plus the probability of mint. So, we have there 6 over 30. And that is 10 plus 6 is 16 over 30. Or, uh, divisible siya by 2, that will be 8 over 15. So, the probability is 8 over 15. So, that's how you do that, ha? Okay, how about the probability of melon or mint? Okay, so the probability of melon, uh, union, mint. O, nilagyan ko ha kasi ang hirap pagparehong M. Okay, so that will be equal to the probability of melon plus the probability of mint. Okay, let's go down. Ilan ng melon? We have 14 over 30. Okay, plus... Ang mint ay 6 over 30. So, 14 plus 6 is 20 over 30. So, you will have your 20 over 30 and that is or 2 over 3 pag ni lowest term. Okay, so the probability is 2 over 3. Okay, next. Uh, the probability of mint or melon. Nauna naman ang mint or melon. So, pareho lang, ba Melon or mint or mint or melon, the same lang sila. Okay? So, pagbabalik ta rin mo lang. Pero since addition, pareho lang sila. So, the answer here is also 2 over 3. Okay, now, uh, the probability of strawberry or not melon. Okay? So, if you are going to illustrate that, oh, ito si, wait lang. Ito si strawberry, ito si melon, ito si mint. O, lagay natin melon, ito si mint. So, wala silang intersection, di ba? Pero, kinuha na natin si strawberry. Ito yon. Okay? Tapos, lahat ng nut melon, yun yung kukunan natin ng, stro ng, uh, ng probability. Ano-ano ba yung mga nut melon? O, oh, eto yun, di ba? Si strawberry, saka si MI. Si mint. Ibig sabihin, nagkaroon ng in intersection si strawberry at nut melon. Kaya, ang magiging formula natin dito ay, excuse me, sorry. So, we have here the probability of strawberry, yun yun, nut melon. Okay. I-diretsyo nyo ha, ang sinashortcut ko na lang kasi, is equal to the prob probability of the strawberry, okay, equals to, ano, plus the probability of nut melon, okay, minus the intersection of the probability of, ano to, strawberry and nut melon. Okay? So, ano ba yung probability ng strawberry? Ilan ang strawberry natin? That's 10 over, eto, 10 over 30. Okay. 10 over 30. Plus, the probability of not melon. So, we have strawberry plus mint. So, that is 10 plus 6. So, that is uh, 16 over 30. Minus yung intersection ng strawberry and, and not mint or not melon. So, anong intersection nila? etong strawberry which is 10 over 30. Okay, so we add them. So, you will have 26 over 30 minus 10 over 30. And that is just simply 16 over 30 or how many? 8 over 15. 
Okay. Now for letter E, we have here the probability of mint or not strawberry. Okay. Kung I... Titignan ulit natin yung kanina. Sige, drawing ko para may imagine nyo, ha? Okay. So, we have here the strawberry, the mint, and the melon. Okay. So, yung mint, kukunin natin siya. So, yung probability niya. Ngayon, not strawberry naman. Okay. So, yun yung melon at mint. So, the formula will be... Okay, the probability of the union of mint, okay, and not strawberry, and S yan, ha, is equal to the probability of mint, okay, plus the probability of not strawberry minus uh, the uh, intersection of the, uh, the probability of the intersection of the mint and not strawberry. Okay, so ang mint natin ay ilan? Check nga natin. Ang mint natin ay 6. Okay. At ang nut strawberry natin ay 6 plus 14 is 20. So, we have here 6 over 30 plus 20 over 30. Minus, ilan ba ito? Yung mint natin? Ah, yung tama ba? Not strawberry, so nag-intersect sila dito kay mint. So, which is 6 over 30. Okay, so we have here how many? Tama ba? I-check natin ha. Not strawberry is 6 plus 14, that's 20. Tapos, yung nag-intersect is 6. Oh, tama. So, we will have here now, how many? 6 plus 20, 26 over 30 minus 6 over 30. And that is 20 over 30, which is equals to 2 over 3. So, the probability of mint or not strawberry is 2 over 3. Okay? What happened? Ayan, ngayon kung natutunan nyo ang video na ito, please i-comment yan dyan sa baba mga anak ha. Isusunod ko agad yung learning task number 3 sa kayong assessment part natin. Pero make sure mag-comment kayo para maapit ang video na ito. At syempre, makita rin naman siya ng iba. At mga anak, please follow naman yung Facebook page natin, Maria Matix Math. Maria Matix Math. Sige na mga anak. Ha, follow me on this Facebook page. Okay, at laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math and comment na. Bye!